What's up, Odooers? Nathan here. In Odoo Help Desk, you can use the email alias and website form channels for automatic ticket creation. However, there's one more channel option we haven't seen yet, live chat. With live chat, customers can contact us immediately on their terms. If they have a super busy day, they can chat with us while they multitask, like in line at the grocery store or even on a Zoom call. But before we start chatting, let's get things configured. First, we want to make sure the help desk, live chat, and website modules are installed. To kick things off, let's open the help desk app and navigate to the configuration menu and select help desk teams. From here, we're going to select our customer care team. And first, we're going to scroll to the channel section and we want to make sure that the checkbox next to live chat is enabled. Then we can go ahead and use this feature for our customer care team. Once that's done, we can click configure live chat channel, or we can also access the live chat channels through the live chat apps main dashboard app. So let's go to there now. And next, let's talk about the live chat channels. When we activate live chat on the customer care team form, it created this customer care channel for us. So let's click the three dots on this channel and select configure channel. In this form, I can configure the settings for the live chat channel. If a customer starts a chat on the website, the users in the operators tab will receive a live chat notification in Odoo. As you can see, I'm already listed here, but let's go ahead and add Jose now. So I'll select add, choose Jose, and there we go. Jose and I can both take live chat requests as they come in. Next, we have our options tab. Here I can change the visual and text settings for the live chat window. First up, let's change the live chat button notification text. This is the message that appears to the customer in the corner of the screen. I want them to see this message and know that someone is available to help them. So let's say something like, need help, come chat with us. Next, let's check out our live chat button color field. I'll select the first circle here, and this is where we can change the button color. You can choose the colors using RGB or even just find a hex or color code. I like these colors though, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Next, we have the live chat window settings here on the right. The welcome message is the first thing that a customer will see when they open the conversation. This message appears as it is through the chat operator, so it needs to act as both a greeting and an invitation to continue the conversation. So let's go with a message like, hello, what can I help with you today? Next, we have the chat input placeholder. This is the text that appears in the box where a visitor types their replies. This message prompts the visitor to initiate the chat. So let's type something like, say something. And then we'll keep the channel header color the same and as is, but if we wanted to change it, it would be the same method we used for the live chat button color earlier. Next, we have the channel rules tab. The channel rules determine what page a channel appears on. If a chatbot is included and when the chat window should open is when the conversation would begin. I wanna add a rule that tells the customer care channel to automatically open a chat window when a customer opens the help page of my website. And to do that, we're just gonna click add a line. And then within this form, we're gonna select open automatically in the live chat button field. And when I choose this option, you'll notice I now have the chance to add a timer that will delay the chat window opening by a couple seconds. So for this case, we're gonna put two. And with that in place, the chat window won't open for a couple seconds. There's also an option to enable a chat bot here, but we're gonna hold off on that for now, but be sure to check out the chat bot tutorial to learn more. So I want this chat box to appear on my website's help page. So I need to specify the URL in the URL regex field, which is short for regular expression. Here I can indicate the web pages to fully which this rule applies for. So let's do slash help desk. I'm also gonna leave the country section blank because I want this rule to apply regardless of the customer's country or geolocation. Then all I have to do is click save and close to save that rule. Finally, there's a widget tab. 
If you have a website for your company through a third party, you can still take advantage of Odoo's live chat by using this widget. Just copy and paste this code here into your website's coding, then you'll have a fully functioning live chat button and window that you can use on your website. Alternatively, you can copy and paste this information into your emails for your customers, and this will take them to a basic browser page with a button for them to chat with your operators. Now, let's check out how the live chat window looks like from a customer's perspective. You can see the button right here in the corner, and after a few seconds, poof, I'm ready to start chatting. Now that our live chat channel is configured, we are ready to start chatting. Be sure to come back and check out our other live chat tutorials to learn even more. But until then, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until next time, see you later, Odoers.